the stories that we tell are stories that have been passed on to us from our ancestors. If we sit in a, a circle, the story will come, the one that I'm supposed to tell these guys. The first time that they see me is um, the, the, the expression of relief on their face and, and the tenseness of their body relaxes and uh, they're so grateful to see somebody from home. Sometimes I would ask the guys, what am I to you guys? Who am I to you? You are off water. He said, you tell us things. You talk to us and you take time to listen to us. He said, this has been happening in our lives when we were home. Elders are at the heart of everything we do in terms of providing spiritual and cultural services. They really are the core. And actually without elders, we wouldn't be able to provide anything um, for Aboriginal offenders that would have cultural or spiritual meaning to them. Having that elder there for that support is actually a pivotal point in people's lives who are trying to change their ways. If I had no other to guide me and to help me and say, hey, listen, this is not how your people lived, I think I would still be in maximum security, still using drugs, still doing all the things I shouldn't be doing, you know, because they play uh, such a significant role to uh, put us back on our feet, but to allow us to pick ourselves up at the same time. A lot of people are really lost. Well, the offenders in Hare, a lot of them have that guilt and shame, and but they've been growing up with that anyhow. They're in trauma mode, and because of the trauma they've experienced, they just projected that outwards. One of the things that really astounds me is how disconnected our inmates are to their family, to their community, to their nation, to their culture, to their language, sacred ceremonies, and traditional way of life. We were not allowed to practice our ceremonies. It was outlawed in, in legislation in, in Canada. They demonized our elders. They went after our spiritual leaders. So here we are today. Um, we're the, probably the only ones that can help repair that. By going in sweat lodge or being involved in ceremony in here, it gives them a glimpse of, of something that talks about their history, talks about who they are and their connection to this life. I'm mostly working with grandchildren in the institution. They, they don't know why they are or the way they are or how they became that way. You know, and it was just passed on. Everybody thought it was normal. Those kind of things that happened to my grandparents, I think they had the anger of what happened to them and pass it along to their children and to their grandchildren. At some point, they have to stop it. For me, I want to stop it in my generation before I have my children. I want to be able to stop the violence in my family. I tell them that they can do it, that it is possible because uh, I've seen it. I've watched people do it and I've done it myself.